This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. This week, when truth is scarier than fiction, sometimes the baddest, most memorable villains come from real life. James Whitey Bulger is a perfect example. Bulger became one of the most notorious and powerful underworld figures in the Northeast thanks to his alliance with the local FBI branch. Black Mass, which is based on the book by the same name, looks at that alliance between Bulger and the corrupt FBI agent John Conley, played by Joel Edgerton in a decidedly unglamorous role. Unlike many mob movies, Black Mass doesn't waste time on backstories that aren't relevant. This is smart on the part of director Scott Cooper because there is enough material here for several movies. However, by focusing squarely on Bulger and his rise and eventual fall, the movie has a fast-paced feeling to it that belies the fact it is 122 minutes. While Cooper and the film editor deserve credit for this, Johnny Depp also deserves recognition for his mesmerizing performance as Bulger. While Depp is arguably one of the best actors of his generation, many of his recent over-the-top performances have left audiences cold. This one does not. Bolger's creepiness comes from his subtlety. Depp, who was well known for getting into character, collaborated with longtime makeup artist Joel Harlow to physically become Bolger, right down to his ice blue eyes, which are as cold and unflinching as a Boston winter night. He rarely raises his voice and instead prefers to let his actions speak for him. He's a psychopath in the truest sense of the word and commits some of the most chilling on-screen murders in recent cinematic history, even though very little actual violence is shown. While Black Mass may not be the best crime movie of all time, it is nonetheless very good and reminds us that award season is here. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. Catch up with us at TakeTwoMovieReview.com and feed us back on the Take Two Movie Review page on YouTube.